Hello everybody and welcome back to the mod lock. We are jumping in once again to try out another run. You may see my streak is reset. That is simply due to the fact that we had a crash as the deleted when we were playing the last episode. It's a bit annoying, but we haven't actually died as anyone yet. It's, yeah, it is what it is. But we're going to play Arachna this time. Bertran is going last because he is likely to be the hardest one to stay alive as in my opinion. Especially now that we've got Tainted Andromeda out the way. But yeah, if you guys don't know what this is, I do have a few other videos explaining the concept. But anyways, we're going to jump on into the episode. And I'm also going to pull up a question of the day from my Discord. And this one's a pretty good one. Um, do you have an, a really cringy memory from ages ago that you still remember to this day? I can't remember if I've asked anything like this before. I feel like I maybe have, but yeah, it'd be really interesting to hear. So, of course, those of you the guys that don't know how this character works, essentially we throw out the spool, puts a web, anything over a certain amount of HP that dies in the radius of that web is going to spawn spiders. Uh, so we want to be using it on you here. Um, it's going to spawn these little web sacks and they're going to explode into spiders at the end. Things like these little spiders, um, sorry, these little flies and poops here aren't going to turn into them because they have uh, too low health. But bigger enemies will turn into them. But yeah, we can see here, crack a few of those open and we'll keep on moving on. I'll try and destroy some poops here actually. Again, this is first run as this character, so this is all about survival. Um, so that's why I'm doing stuff like this and getting myself a lovely little soul heart. That's very, very nice. Whoa, that insta-killed you. I wasn't expecting that. That did, that insta-killed you as well. Okay. Uh, let's try and play this a little cautiously because I really don't like the position that these guys have put me in here. Um, let's try and keep you in the web. One thing that you do find is that you kind of knock enemies out of the web sometimes. It doesn't that like that. It didn't count. It is kind of like that sometimes. There you go. It does do a little bit of initial damage as you can see there. Ah, oh, that guy died outside of it. We've got a lot of spiders there to take into the next room. And one really unique thing about this character is they have their own unique spiders. As you can see here, there are some spiders that are a bit different. You get some different colored ones that have specific effects. It's really cool. I really like the idea of this character. She is definitely a bit strong, but I, I do like that. <laughs> Having a strong character in the Nuzlocke is going to be rather nice. Of course, only Soul Heart Health, though. Ooh, that's actually not a bad item to grab off the bat. And an item that I haven't seen in a very long time, I'll be honest. It's an item that I thought was only secret room, but um, I guess not. Anyways, having 99 keys is going to solve a good amount of issues throughout the course of this run, I'm sure. Um, I'm going to bomb this and try and get myself some extra coinage. And yeah, that's going to be really, really nice throughout the run. But yeah, you'll also see that we have these web hearts. Web hearts are hearts that will like be depleted in a single hit, kind of like you're on the wound. But... Um, they allow you to get more spiders for your web, for your like web sacks when you kill an enemy. Ooh, we do have one of these guys. It might be fun to play him. We'll see what our shop holds first. Ten maybe not might not be enough to get a payout from him. We have a reflected item. Can't get anything from there really. Let's try and play, uh, play this guy out. See if he can give us anything. He might give us a trinket. Honestly, a sack's not bad. Come on, give us a trinket or an item. Damn, unlucky. Okay, let's destroy a few fires. We do have a penny in that other room there. Do I really want to go and grab a penny and come back and spend it on that guy? Why, yes. Yes, I do. Oh, the penny's stuck. Doesn't matter. Okay, let's move on to our boss. The good thing is as well, this character has slowdown on command. So even if we can um, kill the enemy to get a web sack, we can still slow them down. As you can see, it doesn't work on bosses, but that's kind of understandable. Uh, we also do have some poison shots, as you can see. One thing with this character you really want to be trying to do... Uh, really want to be trying to do really want to be trying to do? I'm saying that really weird. Really want to try to do is um, gather as many spiders as you can for the boss fight. So you can basically insta-kill the boss. Obviously, it doesn't always work out that way, but you want to kind of try try your best to do that. Because uh, obviously, walking into a boss fight and all the spiders just instantly messing up the boss is pretty entertaining and very useful depending on the difficulty of the boss. Okay, good. I'll take you out first here because you're kind of annoying me. I'm, I'm dropping my web on, on you just because when you spawn dips, it's a better idea to just have the webs ready. But we're going to get a pr pretty quick kill here on Dingle and grab our self-safety pin, which is another black heart. Shot speed and range are obviously not that important, but we'll hop down to the next floor. But yeah, I'm really happy to have Skeleton Key. But yeah, I'm trying to think of like a, a really, really cringy moment. I definitely like one off the top of my head and it, it's not like super, super cringe, but... Like, I definitely, looking back on it, have realized a few things. One is that I was bullied quite a lot 
I didn't realize this at the time, which is kind of a good thing because it means it didn't really affect me, but a lot of people attempted to bully me and it just didn't really affect me. And I didn't really clue into that, to be honest, which is kind of bad, but also good. Like at the time for me, it was good. I'm not taking Isaac's heart. I do love Isaac's heart, but this is this is not the sort of episode to be taking Isaac's heart. Um, yeah, uh, I like, it's good that I was oblivious to it, but it's kind of bad that I, I was getting bullied as much as I was. And then another thing, and yeah, it just kind of makes me cringe to the amount of times that people tried to bully me or people bullied me or whatever happened. And I just kind of like didn't respond however they wanted at all, like correctly, which is, like I said, another good thing. Normally, the main reason people do bully people is to get a response. So the fact that I never gratified it with a response is probably the reason why it didn't affect me so much um, or why it didn't persist to um, too long sort of thing. But yeah, it's it's oh my God, we've got so many spiders here. Holy hell. That, now, we want to do the boss straight away here, because we have a ton of spiders. Basically means a guaranteed insta-boss kill. There you go. Uh, Devil Deal, I'm going to leave here, just because I think it doesn't really make much sense for us. We'll go back and make sure to get our... Uh... Yeah, we'll, we'll go check our shop out. Actually, no, 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 no. Let's try and get Boss Rush here. Let's try and get Boss Rush. Um, Yeah. Why did I go into the Devil Deal? Why'd I go into the devil deal? I don't know, but I don't want either of those. That is not what I meant to do at all. Anyways, we carry on. And another one is, I remember having like a, a pretty decent friendship with this girl at school. Like it was kind of like a, a sort of tease them because you like them sort of friendship where I, I definitely liked this person and I definitely played around a little bit. And yeah, it was one of those sort of situations, but I didn't clue in to the fact, oh God, I lost one of my, one of my web hearts, unfortunately, and they're not easy to get back. Um, we've also got what looks like Bob's brain there, I think, or common cold. Oh, we lost both our web hearts. That's not good. Intruder is very nice though. And it's very fitting for this character, actually. My God, it's so fitting, holy. Um. Oh god, I'm getting hit loads. What's going on? <laughs> Seemingly just getting hit absolutely tons right now. I need to be careful. Okay, let's let's play this room slow and get some spiders. Good, good. Hold this up. There you go. That didn't work. Good, good, good. Okay. That time we got a lot of spiders. Buy a soul heart from here if we can get it. Honestly, Keyblade isn't that bad. I'd, I'd be tempted to take that if I get more money. I'd be tempted. I don't want to do a few extra rooms here because I lost some hearts. I'd rather try and regain some spiders before we uh, make our maiden voyage into the boss room. I don't think if we get kills with spiders, it counts, unfortunately. Oh, no, it does. I think that counted. Dude, can you get in the web, please? Dude, he keeps bouncing out of it. This is really annoying. There you go. That's more like it. So you're stuck in that web there, right? Whoa, he kind of poofed into something. I don't know what it was, but he poofed into something. Okay, I think this is a good amount of spiders to tackle the boss with. Let's go ahead and do it. Yeah, and it was kind of like this flirty thing. I had like my cooking class with her. And like, I was trying to be obvious and I didn't think it was going anywhere. And now that I look back on it, it really clearly was. And like this girl very clearly was showing like pretty obvious signs that she liked me. And this was like for multiple years. And obviously neither of us like did anything about it. And obviously I don't care now because I'm with my girlfriend now and I couldn't be happier. But it's still one of those things where I'm like, damn, like I was so oblivious for so long. And I have no idea how. Like, so oblivious. It's kind of insane. It's kind of insane how oblivious I was. My god. Whoa, 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 whoa. What the hell hit me then? Something hit me. My goodness. Let's keep moving on. Let's keep going forward. Okay, these enemies are pretty good for um, slapping down. Especially the ones that can't be uh, attacked by my spiders. That makes things better for us, actually. We have a, a, a lot of spiders right now. Oh, by the way, um, yeah, just one thing, as you just saw here by this room, I, um, I've just realized something. I have, I have a mod installed that I'm not meant to, but, 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 it's a mod that makes the game harder. 
<laughs> a new mod came out that I was testing out last night called uh, like improved enemy patterns. Basically, it just adds a bunch of new patterns to a bunch of enemies. I was testing it out last night and I forgot to uninstall it. So we have that installed now. But like I said, it just makes the game harder. It also makes the sins very different. So you're going to notice that they're doing different things, as you can see here. Like kind of splitting up in different ways rather than just bouncing around. They kind of collide with each other now. Um, yeah, uh, so that's a, that's a bit of a mistake. But I'm going to say that it's not bre technically breaking the rules because I'm, it's, it, I mean, it kind of is, but it, I'm playing uh, in, in a harder mode than I should be. So <laughs> there you go, I guess. <laughs> Whoops, I'll make sure to uninstall that after this run. It couldn't have been the end of this run. Like, it couldn't have been the cause of the end of this run. So we'll see. I don't know. Hopefully not, but you're going to get webbed, aren't you? Nope, not quite. Damn it. Tower is not actually terrible. We'll take the tower. You wouldn't be bad to play, to be honest. That was very good. That's a lot of spiders there. We're still taking a bit too much damage right now, which I'm not very happy about. But I think we'll get over it. The map would be really nice to grab here, so I'm hoping we can, and indeed we can. Yeah, treasure map just makes things a hell of a lot easier. Okay, so we're probably going to lose a lot of spiders here. We seem to have a lot of golden spiders that are creating money for us. Obviously, I'll try and re recoup some of my losses here, but it's not always going to work out. I think we go in here while we have the spiders, really. Just because that happens. We did actually get an angel deal. Good, good. I was worried about that. And we got a really good item, too. I think we'll, uh, we'll try this out. We've got enough spiders to probably fairly quickly kill you. Okay. Careful of that. I think these are one of the enemies, that them angel babies are one of the enemies that's been changed as well. It's going to be some really cool stuff. I did actually suggest to BD1P to add this to the Nuzlocke, because uh, right now I'm recording on the day of the Nuzlocke starting. I'm backlogging a few of these. Um, so I suggested adding it today, but obviously because the, the Nuzlocke just started, he said no, because it's a bit too short notice, which is fair. It is definitely short notice, but I really wanted to use it because it's a really cool mod, um, and now I am. Um, I think we can keep going here. I don't think we need to search the rest of the floor. Um, and it's it's kind of stupid that I'm using it, really, because it's technically not one of the mods that we uh, decided upon for the, for the Nuzlocke, but like I said, it technically makes the game harder, so I guess more fool me. Also, secular protection here, I didn't really mention when I got it. Really good. We should also get another webbed heart from this, right? Yes, we did. And we almost immediately have lost it. This is a very tricky room here. Secular protection is actually so good for this. Whoa, these guys are glitched out. These guys are glitched out. One of them's invisible. I don't know what's causing that. It's probably just one of the graphic mods that I have. Oh, God. Oh, no. It's okay. We've got some spiders back. Hey, and another soul heart there. I'm glad we got a web heart back. That's going to help a lot. We'll go up this way first, I think. Damn. Really hoping that that red chest would have crossed the barrier. Didn't even matter anyways. Whatever. Well, this is definitely worth it. <laughs> definitely, definitely. What have you got for me? Dead eye. Hell yes. We have got some good item runes going so far. Some very good item runes. Deadeye is basically just double damage for us, which is very nice. Oh, do not like you being over there. Are these guys, like, broken murdering? What's, what's, what's all with all the stopping with these guys? That is some funky stuff. Like I said, it could be to do with this mod. <laughs> I really apologize. I, I hope people forgive me. Ooh, these guys are new. Didn't, didn't get to see what they did, but they're new. Okay, so there's definitely something broken going on with this fella. That should be... Ooh, this guy's like lobbing his head at me now too. Some wacky stuff. Okay, we did get a tainted treasure room as well. Ooh, okay, what's this? What's this? You can only hold up to five keys. Each time you open a lock, you receive a random stat boost. That seems awesome. And the fact that it actually drops your keys, that's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. And then we literally can't pick them up, look. That was really interesting. And honestly, only five keys seems low, but I actually think that's not so bad.
I actually think that's not so bad at all. So we just got we got to do a bit more key management than we normally would have to. But that's not so bad. Okay, does, don't bother about the webs this room because it's not going to make any difference. We're probably going to lose quite a lot of spiders in here. Let's try and kill before our spiders get a chance to kill. That's really the way you got to go about it, to be honest. We've got a lot of those chunks to spiders there, though, which is kind of nice. Red Heart's not going to do too much for us. I'm really liking the fact that our health's in a good place right now. Now, a golden key would be pretty good. Not for this floor, but generally. It would be quite nice to find a few more of those. Good, good. Honestly, the little mini game of keeping your webbing going is quite fun. It's quite good. Charge penny, uh, charge key, sorry, there that we can't get. Beautiful. Hop in here. So we got a full look increase out of that. Very nice. Uh, we'll definitely take that and that. Honestly, let's grab that as well. Good, good. I kind of would like uh, Mum's purse, but I don't know if we'll end up getting it. Have we seen our item room this floor? We have. Okay. We're pretty much good to go then. We should go back and gra grab that charge key real quick. One second. There's no point leaving that behind. There you go. We want to stay at five keys at all times. But yeah, we really want to be locking, unlocking every door that we can. I wonder if golden chests count as unlocking a lock. I would guess not. But it uses a key, so maybe. And we've got a spare soul heart there if we need it. Do not like rooms like this. Luckily, game kind of gave me a break there. I heard a golden something or other drop then. Was that a golden bottom? It's a golden heart. Okay. Beautiful. Let's grab that golden heart real quick. And I kind of wanted the wooden chest too. They can be pretty good. Justice is decent enough to pop it. Obviously not that valuable for us, but there you go. Okay, that actually worked out. I don't know how. Okay, we lost a lot of spiders there. That was unfortunate. But we gained a few back. Ooh, look at how the golden web heart looked. I wasn't expecting it to have its own graphic. I really like that. So this might give us enough, actually. To go and get Mum's purse. Which I'm going to go do, because we we're not currently holding a trinket, uh, so it'll give us one, but then also having the extra space for another one later down the line is really nice. But yeah, I really love how that golden web heart looked. Looks, sorry. It's really, really nice. I didn't expect it to have a unique graphic, and it, it, it really fits very well. Okay, so let's grab that. And dim bulb isn't great right now, but could potentially be very good if we get ourselves a good active. Especially something like Guppy's Head. That'd be a really good one to get, actually. That'd be, like, insane. Especially with the flies and the spiders. Even just boxer spiders I'd take. Go along with that whole aesthetic. Okay, so this guy won't die too fast because, I mean, we've not got a ton of spiders. But, I will say, circular protection, dead eye, all that good stuff. Ooh, that was not a great hit from me there. But, I got a lot of money for it, so I don't really mind. There you go. Got ya. Bit of a tricky guy and a very good item there as well to boot. Okay. Um, we got plus 69. Very nice. And we'll go down to the next floor. Okay. Don't really know where I'm going to be going here. Nice. It's a little hard to tell when the enemies are actually in the web. Because we have the slowdown on our normal tiers sometimes from... Uh, from our spider thingy. Okay, these guys seem a little broken. Whoops. Very sorry to the other competitors that I uh, accidentally added a mod that made my run harder. <laughs> At least we did it for the character that can actually handle it. That's all I'll say. If I'd have done this as Bertrand, we might have been screwed. So this guy will have some new attacks as well. Yeah, look at that. Whoa, he's like a champion version of him. That's awesome. It's really cool. Whoopsie. <laughs> okay, so this is kind of an interesting one. So I think what we want to do is we want to go like that. Eh, that's not really a good shot. Do it like there. Yeah, there you go. And then we'll try and kill as many enemies as we can. Okay, that's not going to work. I thought that was going to be a really good way to do things, but clearly not. We got three of them. That's pretty good. I'm just checking back this way here because I feel like this is the shop. 
It's not, but it's a tainted treasure room, which will give us one luck upgrade and one fire rate upgrade. Generate up to four additional rooms each floor. Um, rooms can be normal or special. That's really cool. That's really cool. That's the second one of them. And each key counted towards. So we're going to go back and get this. We actually do need to do a bit of backtracking to keep tra track of keys here. By the way, I am trying to go to Boss Rush, but we might not make it. And honestly, I don't really care if we don't because we're a bit weak for it, to be honest. Like, we've got good health, but remember, we're not going to be able to generate spiders very easily at all during it because it's mainly going to be bosses. So that would make things rather tricky, I think. I will, however, destroy this in case I make it so I can teleport out if I'd like. Do not like that. Ah, I missed with that. God damn it. I'm not going to, like, overdo the spool, but I try and use it when I can. Shop here. That has blank card and diplopia. I'm going to go with diplopia here. Blank card's fun, but we did a blank card run earlier. So I think diplopia is a little more interesting. Good. We're probably not going to make boss rush at this rate. That's pretty nice. Oh, wait, no, we can't even take that. doesn't matter. I thought that was going to enter our pocket active, uh, like, slot, but we can't do that. I'm going to use two keys here to get the stat upgrades. Hopefully get at least a key back. There you go. Try and zoom, but I very highly doubt we're making it in time to do this. Did, did the actual spiders pop there? I don't know if they did. Strength. I took it just in case, because we might be able to do it in time. There you go, we did it. Shit, 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 shit. Check, check, check. Okay, I had to do that really quick so I could still get into boss rush if I wanted to. Also, Nun's Habit is very glitchy with this character. Holy, <laughs> what is going on there? What is going on? Also, we didn't get our next key piece, which is stupid of me. <laughs> um, Let's check out Boss Rush still. Eden's Blessing, I think, yes. Taking two Eden's Blessings. I think we can get through this with Deadeye and stuff. I might need to to, to, to remove uh, Nun's habit, you know. That, that, that visual glitch is quite something. Quite something. Yeah, I think we have enough damage to get through this. I'm hoping. Doesn't feel like a great run for it, I'll be honest. Are you putting out troll bombs at me? No, that was you, I think. It's just so weird. Why why hasn't Habit done this? Arachna has some, some visual bugs. Oh no, people. Did you just go straight into the spikes? Very well done of you. I congratulate you on that effort. Honestly, we might be able to get away with a lot of enemies to kind of killing themselves on spikes and stuff here. Yeah, we've got enough damage, I think. We're killing stuff reasonably quickly. Honestly, just just removing habit because I don't have an active item right now. It's not giving me anything. I don't feel like it's cheating to remove an item to get rid of a visual glitch, especially when it doesn't benefit me in any way, shape, or form. Oh, that guy just kills himself. Awesome. That's perfect. Because that was really annoying me. It looked horrible. <laughs> Hey, we got a soul heart. That's really nice, actually. Can we get some spiders out of you? We cannot. Whoa! That, that dude shoots at angles now. Oh, my God. Oh, and he becomes his own enemy. Holy. Okay, like I said, some reworks going on there. <laughs> Holy. Push you over the spikes. Beautiful. Did not know that was one of the enemies that had a change.
push it onto the spikes there. There you go. <laughs> Angels are probably one of the harder ones for us. Ooh, the bloats a particularly difficult one, so we'll uh, just stay away from him for now. Honestly, I want to get rid of the angel before the bloat becomes an issue. And that actually worked out really well because he kind of stayed in the bottom of the screen, so that, that's good. That's good for me. I'll take that. Whoa! Steven can teleport now! There's all sorts of wacky stuff going on. This is really cool, though. I really like this mod. I, I might just leave it on. I don't know. <laughs> I shouldn't, really, but it is making the game harder on myself, so... I feel like it's not exactly like I'm gaining an advantage in any way, shape, or form for it. <laughs> no one can claim that, really. Oh, goddamn. I thought you were dead. I'll be honest. You're doing some new stuff, too, as well, aren't you? Could you die? Do you have a do you have a fella around somewhere? Oh, do we need to kill these bones? We do. I don't like his positioning right now. Okay. Take out this guy first. I think we might be able to get a few spider spawns from the big fella up, up top. I'll just put that there, and if he spawns some boils on it, then so be it. Didn't work, unfortunately. I thought it would. It didn't. Probably got another four or five waves left yet. It ain't over yet. Circle of protection still going strong. We've been get, getting a lot of different versions of protection recently, haven't we? Very nice. We're doing all right on health so far. Like I said, I think well, maybe three more waves now. I know the Mask of Infamy is one of the enemies that got changed a bit, so we need to be careful of him. As you can see, doing some rock formation based attacks. The heart has some new attacks too. Also, the heart resprite just looks so good. Whoa, what the hell's that? Some sort of explodey shot. I don't know it, I don't like it. Whoa, it jumped in the air. I wasn't ready. I was not ready. Excuse me, Dark One. Could you chill out? Dude! One minute. Oh my god, I got an itchy nose. It comes on at the worst time, doesn't it? It has to, every time. Look how much health he had. And he hit me as well. God damn it. That's it, that's it. Okay. Um, Extra speed. Yeah, that's pretty good. Okay. Health-wise, we didn't come out of that super strong, but we did get to keep the angel deal, which I was very surprised, which I'm very surprised at, and we can now actually go ahead and do, which I'm very happy about, because now we can do Mega Saiyan if we so wish. Okay, away we go. Away we go. Oh, goddamn. Okay, so now it's back to actually trying to web things. I'm going to play this pretty slow and cautiously to try and get as many spiders as we possibly can. Golden keys for this floor is incredible. Do these guys even get webbed? They do. Okay. Let's play it a little slower then. Try and get a few of them. There you go. That's good enough for me. I'm happy with that amount. Okay, you just died by a spider. We're getting a lot more rainbow spiders than I was expecting now. A lot more different coloured ones. And we got to the boss really quick with a lot of spiders, which I'm very happy about. Not a hard boss either. Just an annoying one. This boss might have been changed, to be, on to be honest, as well. I have no idea. Okay, good. We got Jesus Juice. I'm very happy with that. And we keep it going. Didn't lose any health in that floor. I love it when you're on the womb and you just accidentally beeline it straight to the boss. It's so perfect. Okay. Don't know if I'm going the right way here or anything, but I thought I'd take the chance. Now, we do have a little bit of an issue of not having enough keys to do much in the hush area. 
which I'm a little worried about. So I'm hoping we can get up to five at least. Thank you. I was not expecting that. Excuse me, soul heart. Thank you. Make your way back to me, please. So we have gone at least one wrong way here. I don't want that, I don't think. Brown cap's pretty bad, if I remember correctly. That was close. I went. I, I thought I had the speed for it. I didn't really. I shouldn't have done, gone for that. Okay, we can lead a few of these guys into this. There's another key. Good, good. I really like some of these tainted uh, treasure room items we, we've got going on right now. They're really cool. Beautiful. The eye looks a bit different. Oh, it telegraphs a bit more now. Nice. Web heart, beautiful. Oh my god, we got all three of them. Perfect. And there's a soul heart there for us if we need it. Very good, very nice. Okay, these guys aren't going to do anything for us. They're just going to eat up all of our spiders, actually. So let's be quick as we can about killing these fools. Oh god, I got hit by something. Was it the turret? Most likely. Right, let's go back and get that soul heart real quick. There's no point leaving health behind. And I think we can do hush here. We're in time for it, so I think we probably should. Right. Oh god, the heart's almost dead. Wow, that was quick. We got this, we got the halo, very nice. And then, yeah, let's go through here. We've only got four keys, which isn't perfect, but it's enough. Um, Eternal D6 is decent. We can't take glass rags anyways. Um, I'm going to reroll, yeah. And I think Pointer is pretty good, to be honest. Check out the shop real quick. And buy a key. Buy this. The sun? What does the sun do again? Gain flight, spectral, and damage up. Turn your red hearts into burn hearts. Applies Curse of Darkness. Okay, we can use that for the boss fight. Not bad. Not bad at all. Okay. Pop in here. Just get the extra damage up from that. And just try and play it cautiously. I don't know if we're able to get many web hearts uh, procs out of this. Any web eggs, whatever you want to call them. I don't really know the best terminology for them, to be honest. Web sacks? I don't know. Eggs? I don't know. One of the two. Okay, got you taken care of. Don't think putting webbing on you is going to do much of anything. But I'll do it from time to time anyways. Honestly, circle protection is going to be huge for us here, I think. Also, using bombs is going to be huge for us, too. Use bombs as much as we possibly can. We don't need to use all of our bombs, but I probably will. Is he going to move down now? No? Okay. Oh, no, he is moving down. Okay. The bombs aren't doing too much, to be honest. Just a little bit of extra... It's basically while he's got his head out of the ground, I always like to get a few extra bombs on him. Yeah, these don't count, unfortunately. They don't have the health threshold we need. Good, good. Just speed up the process a little bit. Second protection. The slower the tiers that are around us are, the better second protection is going to be. Yeah, this doesn't work for egg sacks either, unfortunately. It feels like it should, but it doesn't. Oh, damn. There was a bunch of them over there. Okay. Let's hit on our web sack heart. That's fine. 
I'm getting a little confused about where I am just because my body's... My head's gone. And it's just my body left. We're about halfway done with this fight so far. Things aren't going too bad. We've only been hit once and it was a pretty dumb hit to be fair. It's just me not seeing the nubbins on the floor. The nubbins on the floor and it won't go away. Okay, circle of protection. Save me. God damn, I hate it when he does this moving att around attack. I hate it when he does this as well, when he just keeps relentlessly spawning flies. I'm not sure what my hitbox is right now when I'm only a body as well, which is problematic. God, look at second protection. Look at it go. It's literally returning so many of his shots right now. Okay. Think here, we're likely to not get hit by this attack. And also, he's probably only got a little bit of life left in him. Yeah, I think we're going to kill him before he finishes his attack, to be honest. There you go. Beautiful. We are going up. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Beautiful. Ooh, ooh, this is a weird room. Whoa, that's a cool room, but strange. Is that a vanilla room? It must be. But I mean, oh, look, you attacked by those guys. That's cool and interesting. We are going to need, um, we are going to need some more keys pretty soon. Don't worry about him. Oh, there was another one up here. I didn't realize there was another one. We just need more spiders. Oh, we got a lot of spiders then. Whoa, those guys leave, uh, Razor Light now as well. Holy, yet another fast trip straight to the boss. We don't have a lot of spiders to go at this guy with, but we did manage to slow him there. Okay, we didn't manage to get many keys, which is a little annoying. I'm going to take this bit slow, to be honest. Okay. Got him taken care of. Good, good. Okay. Blue baby should be a pretty much a breeze. I'm not sure what Mega Satan's going to be like, to be honest. Okay. These are great items. <laughs> Look, they're using pills. New attacks for these guys, too. We're firing two of tears, apparently. I don't know why we're firing two. Oh, that might be, uh, eye drops. Damn, I just walked right into that guy. I don't know what was that what that was about. Chug Greed has some new tricks up his sleeve. I don't know what's going on with him. Luckily, he's dead. Zodiac will reroll into Gimpy. Hell yes. Does that affect Ipecac? I doubt it. Still good to good to have regardless. Okay, that guy's leaving creep on the floor. This is a really rough room with two of these guys. I think I need to take Lard right now. I gave his web parts as well, which is really good. Cursed Eye, no thank you. Akeldama. Also, no thank you. I'll probably just re-roll you again. Oh my god, this is scary. That won't do anything, but I'll pick it up. <clears throat> my god, okay. Re-roll this again. No thank you. Little portal's terrible. Oh my god. We got Pyro. Okay, that's that's not insane because we don't have red health. But that's still very, very useful. Whoa, these guys are new too. 
New attacks all around. Okay. Okay, good. You're taken care of. Another web heart. Awesome. Oh, god damn. I'm not very happy about my current HP going for the boss, to be honest. Sad bombs? Yes. Doesn't do anything with Ipecac again. But still. I'm just doing some extra rooms here because I think we can. No thank you on that. That's not going to open, is it? Book of the Dead. Evil Eye? Yeah. I think Evil Eye is pretty good. Book of the Dead is Bird's Eye. Thank you. Bird's Eye could be really good for us. This has ended up being a pretty insane run. So very happy with the amount of sad bomb Mr. Mega Bombs that we've got going on right now. That seems like it's going to be hugely useful. That doesn't matter. Does that do much for us? I think it's good, right? I don't know. Does that is that a good thing to grab? We'll find out, I guess. Oh no, that does work with Ipecac. Good. Although we have really high shot speed, so it's not great. I honestly probably would have been better off not taking it. But it's not a bad thing at all. Yeah, it just doesn't trigger the explosions every time, for some reason. Has to be like over and for a certain amount of time, maybe. That's a, a risky looking room right there. It still does good damage regardless, it's just you lose the 40 damage. Probably would have been better off sticking with just Ipecac. I don't know though, actually, for bosses, if it hits multiple segments like that and the uh, Satan does have his hands as well as his body, so... Ooh, there's some champions here. Didn't mean to walk out the room there. Are you using cards on me, sir? Okay, I guess we just get out of here. Let's go for it. Mega Satan, it's time. I don't know if we're ready, I'll be honest. Well, let's just try it. Okay, no, this is great. Basically, it's like if a boss is moving, or if it has multiple segments, it just insta-kills them. Oh, shit. <laughs> I don't know why I didn't see that coming. Like, this guy's gonna get wrecked. Whoa. His segments went flying like crazy. This is all, like, new bosses to me. Did he use horse pills then? I think he did. I got hit again. Still a little worried, but I think once we get past the, the point where he's spawning stuff, we're relatively okay. I still think I would have been better off with normal Ipecac, to be honest, but this is still really good. I need to stay within within visual range of his face, I'll be honest. Also, the fires are going to destroy shots too, which is really nice. I don't think I'll do Void on this run. Although, I don't know. It's potentially a good run to do Void. If I even get it, that is. I might not get it. But as you can see, we're doing a ton of damage. I really don't know how to dodge this. I'm hoping the circular protection just saves me. Also, let's get one of them in there. Slow moving tears, circular protection does a really good job against, so that doesn't do much to me. And there you go. Are we going to get a void portal? We are. I'm going to do it. I'm taking the risk. We're at low health, but I'm taking the risk. I 
I think we're just, we've got an okay chance of getting enough health to make this work over the course of this floor. And we've got a very, I won't say low, but like fairly low chance of getting hit too much. Just gotta pay attention. More keys. Don't really need them, but I'll take them in case the stuff to open. I didn't pay attention to if open the gold chest gives a stat up. I want that soul heart. Good, good. Taken care of. Oh, for God's sake, I, <laughs> I've got that item that lets you walk out of rooms, and I keep walking out of rooms without realizing. Also, I think the Satan fight has changed a little bit too. I think he has some new attacks, especially the feet. I think the feet are speci specifically a lot harder. Yeah, there you go. They do that now. Obviously, they still die just as quick, but they do that now. That can be re-rolled. Honestly, uh, it's not not very good. We'll, we'll keep that on, on the docket in case we want to re-roll it. Marbles is fine. We'll take marbles. Increase fat size. Okay, that's all pretty bad. I was just hoping for a good trinket out. That's the only reason I picked it up. Yeah, this guy, like, throws out bombs now. But all sorts of bombs. Definitely harder than normal. So, with this Dorf stop thing, can I... If I go into the Delirium fight by accident, can I just bail out of it? Oh, Gish is a bit different. Yes. Thank you. I realize I could be generating spiders as well here, but I feel like we're a little bit past that now. I feel like that's not really a primary concern anymore. Some of these new reformed enemies are uh, peculiar to me. Oh god. Yeah, I gotta say, that's, thank god we can leave that room, because that's not a room we need to do or want to do. What was that on the floor? Troll bomb. No thanks. These guys have like an aura now. Interesting. Out we go. Just looking for any soul heart drops we can get. Like that. Like that. That's hugely important for us. No matter how small, we need them. Don't know if any of these guys fired at me then. Don't know what happened. A dime dropped somewhere around. Oh, it's there. It's actually part of the room. Golden Penny. Again, don't need it. Probably some stuff we can do with that to get a upper hand, but I'm not going to take the risk of messing around right now. There's a web heart there. We'll definitely go and grab that. Good stuff. Little chest. I'll reroll. That's actually pretty good. We could get fire rate out of that. We got range, unfortunately. Not really the thing I'm looking for. Okay, that doesn't that doesn't give us any stat upgrades. Good to know. I I, I basically assumed as much. Okay, let's keep it going. I don't know where the last boss even is. We seem to have passed by one remaining boss. Oh, you're invisible, you cheeky bastard. Could be here? No. <laughs> okay, so it's down there. It's down that last two rooms over there. I think we've got two or three bosses remaining. I will see if I can walk out the delirium door um, straight away, if possible. One moment. Okay, let, let's keep let's keep her going. We're back. Oh god, I thought I'd killed this room. <laughs> okay, let's continue onwards. Oh shit, I got hit. I really don't want to lose any more health for the fight. I'm at like a pretty good amount of health right now to be fairly confident in myself doing the fight. Okay, I'll take you out. That's very good. <laughs> That's health and invincibility. That's, like, really, really good. Okay, stay out of the way. Oh, we've got invincibility right now. 
Good, good. And Halo Flies is also really good. Okay. We're in Delirium Fight now. I'm just going to do it, to be honest. Use this to get the stat upgrade. Use that to get Herming. I think Herming with this will be mad. I'm a little annoyed at just how insane my shot speed is, but I don't think in the long run that's going to make too much of a difference. We're kind of wrecking you regardless. We're absolutely destroying you. One second. We are back once more. Sorry, um, my girlfriend was just trying to pick up a package and the Amazon delivery driver was just being a, a bit of a, a lazy asshole and like delivered it to the wrong building, the one next door, even though he'd already been delivering packages in this building. So it makes no sense that he'd not leave it in this building. I don't know what, what that was about. He just didn't read it, basically. Um, so, I was just trying to help sort that out. I'll find out what was going on at least. But yeah, this is looking like a pretty easy breezy victory here. There you go. What a, what a build we got for this one. And we did it with increased difficulty as well. I turned on hard mode for this episode for some reason. I'm going to check in with BD1P to make sure he's chill with the fact that I did this, but I'm sure he will be. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this run. Absolutely fantastic one. Another bunch of points for us and a bunch of things unlocked as well. Beautiful indeed. And I'll see you guys in the next one.